Hello, thank you so much for coming back to watch this week's recipe. So today for you, I made these um, homemade orange zest knots with orange um, drizzle. So if you'd like to see how I made this and what you need, then please keep on watching. Just so you know, I do upload a daily video here on this channel all about budget food. So it can be a recipe, a taste test, a little shopping haul. It really does depend on the day of the week. So make sure you do subscribe. Hit that notification bell, bookmark the page. That way you are notified and you can come back and watch whenever you would like to. But let's go ahead and get started with this really easy and delicious recipe. So what you're going to need for these um, orange twists is you're going to need a can of refrigerated biscuit dough. You're going to need three tablespoons of melted butter. You're going to need two tablespoons of sugar. You're going to need uh, two tablespoons of orange zest half a cup of powdered sugar. Um, you're going to need um, a teaspoon of freshly squeezed OJ, and you're also gonna need um, to add a tablespoon of, or I'm sorry, a teaspoon of uh, orange zest. Okay, so we're gonna start getting um, some stuff prepped. So in a bowl, you're going to need to add two tablespoons of granulated sugar and a tablespoon of orange zest. So go ahead and get that added in there. Okay. And now we are just going to get this combined. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we are going to open up our can of biscuits. And you want to do a clean surface. My counters are clean, or you can always um, use like a cutting board or something. But there's my biscuits. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your biscuit and you're going to cut it in half. Okay. And you're going to make it into a rope. Try to keep it as even as possible. Okay. I'm going to do about four or five inches. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to just gently kind of tie it in a knot, kind of like that, and kind of just fold those ends in. Okay, and we're just going to do that with all of them. Okay, so I have all my little knots done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip a paper towel, I don't have a brush, but I'm gonna dip a paper towel into um, some butter, melted butter. What you're gonna do is you're gonna just put melted butter on the twists. Or the knots, I keep calling them twists, but they're knots. I think you could probably cut it down to like a tablespoon. I don't think you need a full three tablespoons of melted butter. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pick up our twists and butter side. We're going to dip it in our sugar and um, our zest and we're going to put it on a parchment lined baking sheet. And my oven is preheating at 375. There we go. Okay, so this is what they're looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and pop them in the oven for about eight to 10 minutes. Make sure you do watch them because the sugar can burn on top, but let's go and pop these in. 
Okay, so while our um, little knots bake, I'm going to go ahead and start making the glaze. You're going to need a half a cup of powdered sugar. You're going to need a tablespoon of orange juice. Oh, whoa, that's butter. That would have been bad. That would have been very bad. So, a tablespoon of OJ. And we're gonna be doing a teaspoon of orange zest. Let's just get this all mixed together. It smells so good already. I'm going to add a little bit more orange juice. It's a little thick. So, there we go. There we go. That's a good consistency. I'm going to let this set to the side, and then we'll go ahead and drizzle this over our warm um, orange zest knots. Okay, so here are my little orange knots. They look pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and get these transferred over and do the last batch. Okay, so now that my um, little knots are cooled off a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and re-stir my glaze and we're just gonna go ahead and gently just drizzle this over them but I think these would be perfect for breakfast or for um, dessert I think these would be really good like during the summer with like key lime or lemon I think that'd be delicious. Any kind of citrus. But there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and try one of these. That's what it's looking like. Oh wow. That is really, really good. These are delicious. They're easy, and I think they look quite impressive, so but there we go. I hope you enjoyed this week's recipe. If you did, please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and share it. I'd really appreciate it. Leave a comment down below. Um, do you like these kind of partially made desserts like using biscuit dough or a pre-made item? I would love to know down below in the comments. Or do you prefer like from scratch? So let me know down below in the comments. Don't forget, you're always welcome to follow me on my other social media. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all budget glam babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start autoplaying here very shortly. Or you can always click on one of the ones that will be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.